Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. Alright, the blacksmith is... Mm, this way. I need to sell too. Hello! Hand over the crate. I found the shipment you were waiting on. Why, so you have. This is excellent news. We have, we can finally get back to work. And show you real black hammer quality. None of these flimsy little swords. Here, I'll give you a taste. Uh, I might not have much in the way of materials to work with, but it's still black hammer craftsmanship. Alright, we got a shield, I guess, and some coin. Bandits overtook the wagon and up your people survived. Poor fox. Always told them that they ought to hire some guards, instead of palming the extra coin. I'll have to hire on more hands. Don't suppose you want to settle? Yeah, no. You have my thanks for the assistance. Okay. Give me some time. I don't know if he means that literally. But you know what? Let's go rest in the inn and we'll come back afterwards. Give him some time. And I'm interested anyway, so... Fast mode active. Again, fast mode is great. Fantastic addition to the genre. Good job. Good day, stranger. Yeah, let's rest. Do I have any money? Oh, I have one key. Plus two resolve. Sure, why not? It's only 30 more. The good uh, rooms. Alright, let me remember. Is there uh, was there anything upstairs? You must gather your... Apart from the dog, I don't remember anything else, but I want to be sure. Quickly and quietly. Okay, nothing here. Probably nothing here. Yeah, nothing. Except for that. Alright. Back to the blacksmith. Alright, what do you have well for me? Friend. We've made good use of the supplies you brought us. Some of my best work. You ever going to see our special stock? You just say the word. Okay. First sell. The gear, the gear, sword, wand, still to. Okay. Clothing, leather armor, hide armor, more clothing, not that. Mm. I'm not sure if you the books have any use, and you should keep them or not. I'm keeping all those, uh, party. Mm. Oh, this is the shield. Okay, what? Larder door. <laughs> 16 deflection, 8 accuracy. Hmm. Can I sell that now? Yes, I can. 
Sure, sell that. Alright. Jaina's Lance, where is this name? 5000. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. Ooh. Mm, 9 to 14 pierce. They are reduction, spell striking, jolting touch. 3 damage reduction by pass, spell striking, jolting touch, grant jolting touch. I love named weapons. So unfortunately, I can actually get it. Because everything is expensive as hell. And I am broke. Hmm. Jesus, everything. Is Come on, I have uh, some good uh, faction uh, reputation. Plus the discount, and it's still so expensive. Blending belt. Not bad. Can get that. Hmm. Interesting for him at least. Anything else? What is this? Requires zero summon creatures. Summon animat. Hmm. Summons. That may be interesting actually. Summoning things. Hmm. That's right. Is it one use? Is it uh, a permanent item? I'm not sure actually. Hmm. Is it worth the money? Fuck it. We'll see. Also, let's see. Uh, you. Oh, yeah, good. First, large shield 16, 8. And this is 16, 8, Grant's Bass. Okay, I'm not sure what the bass is, but sure we're not. some of those in there let's put that there you know what, I'll just send them mm. Covert Grace to hit, draining, wow, it's a good weapon Wow, it's a good weapon. Okay. I know he doesn't have a, a, a talent for it, but still, that's a good weapon. Alright, what am I using? Fine crossbow and uh, my enchanted things. Perhaps I should. I uh, know oh, you already have enchanted things. Can I get something you already get something? Yes I can. Burning glass. Yeah, sure, it's sand. Uh how about me? Fine. Plus four accuracy, yeah, it's sand. Anything else for sound? I create. Sure, why not? I'm probably broke again. That's why not. Keep forgetting that they actually require money to make. Hmm. Ten seconds, maybe. Uh. 
Oh, sound all so good. All right, that cost me 120. Let's see how, for how much oh. can I sell it. Uh, let's see. Exactly 120. That's some bullshit there. Alright, good enough. I guess now I'll go to. Wait a minute. Shouldn't I have the hold the line uh, ability for Eder? Hey. Is it passive? I thought it's active. Yes, it is active. But I don't see it here. Why? Maybe it's a bug. God damn it, I hope it's not a bug. Uh, I read that you can fix it by dismissing them, but I'm not sure how to do that. You can dismiss them, then take them up again. But I think I may need to go to the keep to do that. So I guess I should make that a priority. Because I don't see a way to do that. What's on your mind? And uh, there is, yeah, no way to do that uh, in dialogue either. <laughs> Alright. What? I don't remember, did I speak to him? If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. No, I didn't, okay. Uh, hmm. Put the truth to them, see which of the two ways they bend. What? Either you are a dry field in need of a harvest burning, or you are lost in the darkness. Either way, you can see differently from others. I can tell by the way you notice, you notice the stuff first off. Not many can see it at first, nor the etchings or the flames, but your eyes, your eyes trace the path that I could see. So which are you? A dry field or lost in darkness? The day we won't trade that question back and forth is the day our paths no longer need to be joined and the trial the trial is done. So you don't know either? You know this nation is diseased. Don't need to be a watcher to see that in the children, the politics, the men that stock the roads with knives in hands and murder in their eyes. This land needs life again. New seeds planted in the burning soil. His voice drops, mocking, and his eyes narrow. And something tells me that you can see the path to making that future happen, Watcher. Your kind always does. So then, we'll need to make sure you see it truly now. This nation, its people, don't need any more lies. Hmm. You test the truth, you don't bloodily accept it. And how do you plan to test me? Setting the road, of course. One truth to match another. Marching each other's pace, keeping rhythm. Other priests can keep their teaching surroundings. For my faith, my teaching, setting the road is a simple hard truth. And when you knock one truth against the leg of another, why, both legs stand firm. But now, if you strike a lie at the knee with the same force, his smile dies and his eyes narrow. Why, you make a cripple with but one leg to stand on. Is that why you carry the stuff? Is that why... Huh. Durant's about to launch another volley of words, blinks, then he rolls his head back and laughs deeply. The laughter coming until it seems the air will run out of his lungs, until it seems forced. Perhaps your words are worth listening to, Oster. But the truth will win out. Keep peace and we'll see. Hmm, okay. The cost of troubling me seems to worry you little. <laughs> That's a nice line. That's a Hello, Bon. That runs deeper. Ah, nice. It's a god hammer of a different sort. And like the god hammer, 
It was made by men's hands. Uh huh. Okay. All things have a price. Left unchecked, faithlessness, virtues, it leaves marks on souls until souls don't have the strength to enter bodies that are pure. Animancers, ciphers, all who play games with the fabric of souls are to blame. Oops. <laughs> Durance glares at you. Even watchers can do the same. Some simply watch, others try to weave souls, guide them as surely as they wade when across Avon Dure. That is why I collect the hollowborn when I find them, and the ones whose hearts have led to the seed being spilled on the ground. Co correct? Ah, correct, not collect, okay. There are fewer souls. There are more vessels. It is simply uh -huh. the of the process. So he's killing them. So it doesn't bother you to end them. I feel more remorse in putting down a slathering hound. A wicked? Less than a mongrel in its misery. Yeah, I agree, actually. Murder is a kindness, not mm. a crime. Always has been. I would sooner put the blade to those who are to blame instead. If any spirits should be punished, it's theirs. That's interesting, actually. So he's saying that the Holoborn are being made because there are not enough souls to be reborn due to the fragmentation that occurs, I'm guessing. Or maybe for some other reason. Hmm. And who's to blame? <laughs> the fields of Deerwood are filled with quickness, ripe for those that play with souls, minds, animancers and their kind, watchers too. They bear more of the burden than their victims and more of the punishment. Every year has seen a new crime, the saints war, the hollowborn and the salvation. There is no proof watchers are to blame for these events. There are few who can shape a soul in such a fashion. And any watcher, any true watcher, born in the Deerwood, would be able to see the crime even if they did not cause it. Silence itself is damning. Why don't you end Murder me then? You. I would not grant you any of them. The mercy I grant the Hollowborn. You would pretty... not be deserving of it. He's a pretty fucking good character. You'd equate, uh, equate murder with mercy? Why not? Murder is an old word. Mercy is letting a soul fly free to the next body. True punishment? Ruining someone to their soul. Crack their spirit like you would crack their skulls with a staff. Beat them. Hurt them in mind and body. So their souls become shards. But you leave it inside the vessel like a bag of glass to either choke on it or pass it through their bloody stool. Then, leave it in the body to think on it. Like planting a new field with the right seed. That sounds like you committed to memory. Many marks may I make upon your flesh, but flame leaves marks that cannot heal. Margarine doctrine dictates true punishment is one that remains in memory. In memory. In the soul, in the flesh. Even should the victims die, slowly or swift, sometimes by their own hand afterwards, the lesson lingers, burned in their flesh. Yeah, actually, there is a injustice in that. Have you seen a man branded by flame? He remembers it always, in every waking movement. It is a lesson. Writ in the only ink and vellum that matters, blood and flesh. One can burn the soul as well. It is an art, and I do not take pleasure in it. But there is more at stake here than forgiveness. Many of Aethas's faith were punished in the purges following the Saints' War. And the ones that harmed children, they suffered worse. What do you mean? We did what must be done. Wherever they were, they were rooted out, their souls reclaimed. And if they couldn't be reclaimed, hmm, we so ensured they would never inhabit another body. Is he speaking about his order and what they did to the Ethoasians or those that believed in that god? Maybe, I'm not sure. Do you think there is... Oh right, this guy has a ton of dialogue. Which we will uh, probably go through in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. 
and I will see you next time.